y'all, good morning. It is another day here in Arizona and another video. If you missed some of the recent videos I've put out, we have been traveling through Arizona and we're about to head into Utah. We've already seen the Grand Canyon and Horseshoe Bend and Antelope Canyon in Page, Arizona. So be sure to check those videos out. I'm gonna put them in the description below. Today, we are headed on up into Utah. Hopefully we're gonna check out Monument Valley and we're going to see Forest Gump Hill. We're gonna be staying in a really, really, really cool place tonight, so I'm excited to show you. And then tomorrow we're gonna to head on out into Moab, see Arches National Park, um, and then we're gonna rent a side-by-side -side on Sunday. So if any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Okay, so this absolutely was not planned, but aren't those kind of the best kind of travel days? We are here in Cayenta, Arizona. We're about 30 minutes away from Monument Valley, so we're still going there. It's not off the table. But on the way here, we were listening to a podcast and learning about fry bread and Navajo tacos, and Amigo Cafe has fry bread and Navajo tacos. So we thought, why not stop in and try one? They also happen to have a full coffee bar here with espresso, so if you want to maybe get a latte on your way to Monument Valley, you can do that too. So we got one Navajo taco to split. It kind of looked like it, it was the size of a plate, so I thought we might just split that and then we'll have a, a good dinner tonight when we get into Moab. We did get the chips and salsa as well, and it is spicy. You know I love spicy things. I put hot sauce on everything, but it is. Give me in the face, it's a little spicy, <laughs> but I really like it. It's delicious. So from what we learned from the podcast, the story behind fry bread is kind of a sad one. Whenever the tribes were kind of sequestered, they were given three things. They were given wheat, salt, and lard, and that's it. And so from those three things that they were given, they created fry bread. So it is a very sad part of the Navajo history, but fry bread has also become a very central part of the Navajo culture and diet. So we're excited to come here and try the Navajo taco. The Navajo taco does of course have that base of the fry bread, ground beef and beans, lettuce, cheese, onions, and tomatoes. Even though it's called a taco, I know, you know, we're from Texas, so we're used to tacos that maybe are on a corn tortilla or rolled up in a flour tortilla. This isn't one that you would roll up and eat like we would eat tacos. It's more of a fork and knife situation. Definitely more of a doughy texture like funnel cake. That was delicious. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to tell you, you've got two people to split it. Uh, it is bigger than your head. And she was kind enough to split it for us and put it on two separate plates. It was so delicious. Highly recommend coming to Amigo Cafe if you are in Cayenta, Arizona on your way to Monument Valley top notch. So now, seriously, this time we are going to Monument Valley. <laughs> I believe it's $20 a car up to four people, and then it's $4 a person if you've got more than four people in your car. But I'm definitely going to put a link in the description below so that you can go check out that and also to see if maybe they've opened up online uh, pre-reservations because that would be pretty handy. Um, I did juice up the coffee. I don't know if you know this, but if you're interested in helping support this channel and my travels, I do have a buy me a coffee link down in the description. Obviously a coffee helps keep me and Jeff uh, caffeinated on these trips. I would greatly appreciate it if you would buy me a coffee. Also, another way you can help support this channel is just by hitting that pretty little like button down there underneath the video. One big tip that I failed to mention in my previous videos Make sure if you're gonna kind of do this same trip that we've been doing between Flagstaff, uh, the Grand Canyon, Page, Moab, you are dancing all around different time zones and different communities that do not um, acknowledge daylight savings time. So you may find that, you know, your phone or your watch or whatever keeps flipping back and forth between time zones because it doesn't even know what the right time is a lot of the time. So 
just keep that in mind, especially if you're making appointments, um, reservations to go do things. You need to really lock down what the correct time is in the time zone or the town that you're in. We have made it to Monument Valley. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I knew that they had a scenic drive. Most of this is something that you just stay in your car and drive. And we'll do that here in a minute, but they actually have some trails that you can walk as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, as of April, 2022, like we've said in the videos before, this is Navajo land, uh, tribal land your masks are still required. Now, I believe that when you're in your car driving, scenic drive, you can take them off. Um, but of course, when you're out here amongst others and when you're in maybe like their gift shops or anything, you definitely need to have them on. So just keep that in mind. It is gorgeous out here. Cannot wait for us to do the scenic drive. You can bring your pets. They need to be on a leash. Yeah, let's get started. Let's show you what Monument Valley is all about. Monument Valley might be the most well known from all of the movies and TV shows that have been filmed here. It started back in the era of John Wayne and Western movies. Some of the more recent films that you might have seen are ones like Easy Rider, Transformers, Back to the Future, and Mission Impossible. Of course, if you're a Harry Potter fan like I am, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them has a big section of the movie that is set here. Speaking of Transformers, we went to another place where one of the Transformers movies was filmed and that is to White Sands National Park. You need to check that place out. It is like stepping out onto another planet. I'm going to put a link in the description below. As you're driving the scenic drive loop, you will see signs that kind of tell you what monuments to look for and their names. This one, for instance, over here is called the Three Sisters. Jeff said it's the Sanderson Sisters. <laughs> one thing we learned while we were here is that the Navajo people have such a complex language. They ended up taking this language and using it via the code talkers to turn it into a secret code so that they could transmit messages during World War II. Okay, so we've made it out here to Code Talker Point. Now, I'm not sure if this is kind of the turnaround spot because we haven't been paying attention how far we've gone, but it looks like this might be the point where we turn around and go back. This is crazy beautiful. And I know that my zooming will not be able to kind of give you a good idea but it, it seems as if I could probably see far more than maybe 50 miles easily definitely bring a, you know maybe a car with some ground clearance or maybe four-wheel drive before you come out to Monument Valley um, I, I think we knew it was gonna be uh, not a paved road I, I don't think I expected anything different but it is very bumpy and there are a lot of areas where if you don't have ground clearance your, your car is going to drag so just keep that in mind oh i didn't see that rock i missed that rock jeff said big rock and i thought he was talking about like one of these rocks and i'm like yeah it's pretty big and then he turned the corner where i could actually see and i'm like oh you mean this big rock the one standing up on its own wow called the thumb that is crazy. I'm telling you, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. It doesn't look as large on camera as it does in real life. It's ginormous. So when you come to the Navajo Nation's Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park, you are going to be seeing 
lots of sandstone masterpieces that tower at heights of 400 to 1,000 feet in the air. This valley looks beautiful any time of day, but I highly recommend maybe coming closer to sunrise or sunset. You really start to get a lot of beautiful shadows cast. I feel like those two times a day really help accentuate the beautiful colors that you're seeing out here. I mean, the kind of orange clay colors of the formations, and then you've got the beautiful green grass and shrubs and trees. On the scenic drive tour, there is a vast landscape of rocks, trees, mesas, buttes, shrubs, and windblown sand, all comprising the magnificent colors of this valley. At the back of the gift shop, they even have this beautiful view. It says it's called Photographer's Point, and throughout the years, countless of photographers have taken some of their most coveted photos from this spot. This sign says that uh, it has been said that John Wayne's favorite place to enjoy beauty and serenity of Monument Valley is here. And if you're going to stay at the View Hotel here, this is your view. These are your balconies. So if you stay here, let me show you what you get to wake up and see every morning and what sunset you're gonna see every evening. They also have walking trails, a couple of them if you'd like to do that. Um, just be sure to talk to the information station so you can get a little bit more information about where each trail goes and how long it's gonna take, maybe what kind of supplies you need to have before you start that journey. On the other side of the gift shop, they do have a restaurant dining room. Now it's not open right now. It says it opens up at 5 p.m. for dinner. So I think during the daytime, you're probably gonna have a better bet coming back into the gift shop and getting other things like pre-made sandwiches, chips, and uh, bottle drinks. Okay, we have had a great windy, sandy day here at Monument Valley. We are about to head on towards Moab, but first, on our way, we need to stop by a little place called Forest Gum Hill. lookout area. They've got lots of them so definitely take the time to pull off the road, uh, take some pictures, but also just maybe get away from the crowds and soak up these natural wonders without a ton of people around. Oh, what is it? There's nothing written on it. It's heavy. There's nothing written on it. I don't know what it is. I thought that there would be like some sort of wording on it. It kind of looks like it's made out of fiberglass, to be fair. If you know what this is, tell me what this is. It's underneath this tree. I don't know. I'll put it back where I found it. Oh, there we go. Put it right back where we found it. We made it to Forest Gump Hill. I thought there was a sign somewhere. If you don't know why they call it this, there is a scene in Forest Gump where he's been running for forever and eventually he stops and he's like, I'm tired. I think I'll go home now. And this is the part where he did it. That's where he stopped. Because you can actually see Monument Valley. That's what is in the back of this shot. Where we just were at Monument Valley, that's it back there. Well, so let me give you some tips if you want to come take your picture here. When you're kind of getting within a mile marker of Forest Gump Peel, there are a lot of slow down traffic signs, which is good because obviously they know pedestrians are gonna be in the road where all they're taking our picture. I personally recommend, there's, there's three different turnoff spots. Let me kind of show you. So there's one way down there where those cars are way down there. And then there's another one where this car is right up in here. And then where we're at is at the top of the hill. There's a turnoff here, and I recommend personally, this is where we park, there's a turnoff over here. So if you're coming up from Monument Valley, you're gonna come up this stretch of highway and you're gonna turn left into this parking lot. I just like it because you can actually get your vehicle off the road. There are some people that are kind of parking on the side of the road. I don't recommend doing that. For most of the stretch, there's pretty well no, no shoulders. So definitely, Park your car in one of these pull-offs near the top if you can't fit at the ones here in the bottom because the one at the bottom is pretty small. Please, 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 if you're going to come here and get your picture taken, you have got to pay attention to the traffic. Now, 
one way down the Monument Valley side, you can pretty well see for a long ways, for at least a few miles. But up here, where is it? This is the top of the hill. So people are supposed to be paying attention for pedestrians, but you gotta do that for yourself. There's not always gonna be a ton of pedestrians like there is right now to probably warn you or something, especially if you're here by yourself. Now luckily with Jeff and I, because he was taking my picture and I was taking his picture, I was looking for traffic his way and he was looking for traffic my way. So I would really recommend that. Do the buddy system so that you have somebody else, another set of eyes to help you look for traffic. And the last thing I want you to do is to come here because Stacy said this was a cool picture spot and get hit by a car. <laughs> so please pay attention. It is a beautiful, beautiful and pretty famous, especially if you're an American and you love Forrest Gump. Even if you don't watch Forrest Gump, it's a beautiful scene and I will have some pictures on my Instagram so definitely come check me out over there but it's gorgeous just be very careful be very 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 careful oh and another tip as far as time of day so right now it is 4 45 here um, it's April the Sun doesn't go down here until about 7 ish maybe even kind of closer to 8 but I think it goes behind the horizon at 7 so honestly you want to be able to take a picture like this like you're the camera really um, because you want Monument Valley and stuff in the background but do you see now here how the Sun is like behind me and it's casting a shadow so honestly the better time of the day might either be sunrise because that way the Sun will be looking at you sorry Jeff is trying to warn some people about a car maybe sunrise would be a better time of day because that way the Sun would be hitting you here in the face and shine a light on you or you might want to wait until later in the day maybe like 7 or so that way the Sun can go down below the horizon and it won't cast as much of a shadow on you but yeah definitely keep that in mind when you're coming out here but again just please please be very very careful yeah yeah it is more of a forest gump look than the beanie <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So, next stop, we are actually going to make it to Moab now. <laughs> we are staying in such a cool place tonight, and I cannot wait to show you. I can't wait to see it myself, really. So, let's forge on. We've got about two and a half more hours of drive time. What I don't notice Between us now, it's just like miles, and I've only ever fit inside the shadow. All I'm saying is, if you don't come to Arizona and Utah and leave here with some teensy interest in geology, I don't know what to do. It's called Mexican Hat Rock. Get it? Uh, it looks like a sombrero, but also it's a big rock balancing on a tiny rock on top of a collection of other rocks. I mean, hello. This stuff is cool. So excited to show you where we're staying. I'm only gonna give you like a little glimpse because I'm doing an entire video about this place. It's called Under Canvas. I've wanted to stay at some of their um, facilities in other places that we've vacationed, but I just haven't been able to. And we finally pulled the trigger this time and I can't wait. It's like glamping, so camping, but gracefully. So basically this accommodation is glamping. So we'll have our own tent here and then look at what we get to wake up to look at those beautiful mountains they've got places out here with hammocks they've got places for you to like grill s'mores um it's supposed to be beautiful i cannot wait to show you so yeah definitely subscribe uh that video should be coming out after this one cannot wait to give you a full review of this place because like i said we're in moab now but they've got under canvas at other locations um, at least I know around the United States. So definitely check them out if you're in any other locations. Um, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Safe and beautiful travels. Imagining the keys inside her mind. Does she notice?